The war started on Friday, June 4, 1920, the same day Hungary signed the Treaty of Trianon, after Italian General Settimo Piacentini refused to hand over the Valera district to the Albanian government. Albania had previously forced the majority of the Italian occupation to leave the country, but after demands by Akhmet Zogu, the then Interior Minister of Albania, to continue the evacuation, were rejected by Italy, the Albanians announced the establishment of the National Defence Committee under the leadership of Qasim Koshyalai, and began to gather volunteers. Akhmet Lepenesha became the commander-in-chief of the detachment that consisted of around 4,000 men. The Albanian insurgents were poorly armed and not everyone was carrying a gun, some were armed with sticks and stones. Yet, in and around Vlora there were 25,000 Italian soldiers who were stationed in the area with artillery, the Albanians engaged in fighting in the Vlora region and soon the rebels were bolstered by volunteers in the region. This increased the size of the force to upwards of 10,000 irregulars, which also included the Banda Evartas, an Albanian military band that was formed in the United States and, traveled 23 days by boat from the US to Duris. During the course of the war, not all the Albanian troops engaged. The advance of the Albanian troops as well as communist revolutionary movements and riots within the army in Italy made reinforcements to the Italian soldiers in Vlora impossible, and morale crumbled among the Italian soldiers trapped inside Vlora without orders and with malaria and communist agitation spreading among the ranks. On August 2, 1920, the Albanian-Italian Protocol was signed under which Italy would retreat from Albania. That ended Italian claims for Vlora and a mandate over Albania, rescuing the territory of the Albanian state from further partition. A ceasefire was announced on Thursday, August 5, ending the Italian-Albanian hostilities. After three months of fighting, an armistice agreement was signed between the Italian and Albanian governments. The main points of the armistice were. Number 1, the Italian government completely acknowledges the independence, territorial integrity, and sovereignty of Albania, within the frontiers defined in 1913 by the Conference of Ambassadors in London. Number 2, the Italian government, relinquished its protectorate proclaimed in 1917 and the occupation and administration of law and its hinterland, and renounced all claims against Albania and all interference in Albanian political affairs, and abandoned the idea of a mandate over the country. Number 3, the Italian government agrees to withdraw its war materials from law and its hinterland, to evacuate all its holdings on the Albanian mainland, and to repatriate at an early date the Italian troops actually stationed in Vlor and on the littoral, and all its forces still remaining in other parts of Albanian territory with the exception of the garrison on the island of Cezanne at the entrance of the Vlor Bay. Italy retained the permanent possession only of the island of Cezanne, but remained in temporary occupation of Cape Lingeta and Cape Treporti, both dominating Vlor Bay, with the right to fortify them. The detachment of troops at Shkoda was also to remain in that town. There would take place an exchange of prisoners, the liberation of arrested persons under a general mutual amnesty, and the settlement of outstanding questions concerning the private interests of Albanian and Italian citizens. This was the first diplomatic pact between Albania and a foreign power. Albania had used all its influence to obtain full and unreserved recognition by the Western powers of the independence of Albania within the 1913 border.